Hey, we're Turners. I'm Captain Eddie Castle, and welcome to the outside of the shop. That's right. Yeah, you, that's the gate you gotta close when you come in. All right. Hey, today I'm responding to a couple of requests I had about the CA finish. Guys, like Ron just asked me a couple of weeks ago, um, if I do a natural edge bowl, how can I do the CA on that? Because Sometimes there is more air passing than wood passing. Ron, I thought about you on that. Also thought about how would I finish with CA some of these little brooches that I turned for management. She likes to give these away. They take me about 10 minutes to make on Lazilla once I'm set up. And I really shouldn't tell you that because I'm going to sell them on my website one day. But I normally do the same thing. I send them as gifts and thank yous to folks who do me little favors. But how would I finish that? I mean, it's on Lazilla. It's moving in a weird position and I'm trying to get some CA on it uniformly to get a sparkly finish on it. Well, I hand rub it. Well, let me get into explaining that. But you know, if you want to know more about this, what you have to do, and I'm ready, okay? All you have to do, and you know the deal, you gotta watch. As you get into this, I have to explain. This is complex. It requires a lot of safety gear. You have to have a guy in the background who starts his weed eater every five minutes. And the dogs have to be inside because the CA fumes hurt them as much as they hurt us. So, let's talk about what we're going to do to protect ourselves. Number one, we're going to wear a smock or an overshirt. And we're not going to be real particular if it gets a little finish on it. Got that? Okay. Next, we have to do something about breathing apparatus. I like the Dust Be Gone mask. This is my favorite dust mask, a particulate mask. I can put it in a washer and wash it later. Now, it's not made to hold back CA. But it will trap some of the fumes and keep it from bothering you. I'm going to keep them away from the mask by wearing my polycarbonate face shield. This is a Bionics by Uvex, U-V-E-X. And if you buy one, you can find them on eBay or Amazon. Get the hardened polycarbonate shield. It's five, seven, eight dollars more. But it's worth it. This one won't crack easily. I got to put easily. You get smacked in the face by an 80 pound block of wood, it's okay if it cracks. Because if it didn't crack, your face would crack. So, that's what I use for a face shield. <coughs> I'm going to wear nitro gloves. Now, why? Because this stuff will get on your hands and it will cause a film. And then you got to stand in the shower forever and wait for it to get hard to peel off. Alright, now, we did this, 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 these will go away. I will go put these in the shop wrapped in the paper towel. Why? They're like a magnet for CA and then I gotta clean them. Now I can clean them with acetone but you gotta clean them if you don't take care of it. And I, I can always go in and get them and check proof of my work later. Now what am I going to use to do this project? Aha! <clears throat> Let's start over here the glue I'm going to use is Starbond's EMO2. Now, I don't cut corners on this. I don't go looking for a bargain basement brand. I don't believe some of the other guys' stories about they're just as good. I like the Starbond EMO2. All right, no discussion on that. We're done with that. Okay. For an airbrush, I use an Iwata Revolution. This is a little airbrush. Some of the parts is not on a handle. And it's soaking in some acetone right now to clean it from the earlier work I did. But this little Iwata Revolution, I put it through hell. I spray everything from thick paints to thin paints. It's a really nice airbrush. And I'm pushing it with 35 pounds of pressure from this little dinky compressor from Harbor Freight. About a $35 compressor. Now, when you saw the airbrush, you saw that I had it soaking in acetone. <clears throat> I will pour about two or three ounces of acetone in one of these tumblers. These come from 
crystal white lemonade or something. But you can use anything you want that doesn't get the valve. You don't want the valve to go under the, the, the acetone. Because the valve wasn't getting any CA in it anyway. You want to get the reed, the straw, the nipple, all those parts in the acetone. And it'll clean readily that way. <clears throat> now, in essence, you're looking at all the parts we're going to use. Now, here's the real killer of the deal. If you disagree with anything I've done, please do not put your opinions in the comment section. You just tend to confuse folks. I'm giving you this as a way of doing it. If you throw in things like, I've been someplace and a guy used this and been there and a guy used that, I can't answer relation, I can't relate to those, okay? So, let's just stick with this program. It works. You want to see what I'm talking about? Let's do it. See, i got to put the glasses back on to find a remote. This is just a There we are. The airbrush is clean. I add just a little bit of CA. I'm using this nail tray to keep it up off the table. I have two coats of sanding sealer on these pieces. And I buff between the coats with a diamond bristle brush from 3M. It's a nifty little device for a moto tool or a high speed grinder. A little air in the beginning. to dust it off. Now, that is the first coat. That will be dry now. It takes that long to dry. And I still have some CA. So I'm going to apply a little bit of second coat. Management likes these to look like they're almost dipped in plastic. That's why I'm going through this. This could easily be a high gloss uh, finish from Ace Hardware Store on the corner. I had a student in last week who came in from Ohio, and as he got here, he says, You weren't kidding. There is an Ace Hardware Store on the corner. So they've been there 50 years. I figured I wouldn't ask them to move when I got here. Now that's three good coats of CA. And it's really uniform and really nice. Now, I go to the acetone. I put a very little bit of acetone in here. have to be sure I have the needle clean because a little bit tracks up the needle. If not, it will stick in place. Then it's a real problem to get it out. It takes a long time to get it free. Then I remove the gun completely from the hose and dip the barrel down in the CA. I waited about a minute and a half, made sure my gun was clean. See that? If it's in camera range, it moves freely. I'm going to add a little CA to it. Then I'm going to go right over to the next four. And the same thing. It was sitting on a dusty table. Remove the dust. 
quick coat on the back. This is drying before I've even set it down. The nail rack, the holes are drilled 5 8 on center because that was easy to lay out with a stick rule. Six penny common nails for the uprights. That is the first coat. Recoat. I turn it so I make sure I get all the edges done. We're clear. Take a little bit of uh, acetone. Make sure the needle's clear. That's done. There you have it. I have nine medallions, total time to spray, four coats of CA was less than ten minutes looking at the clock in the shop. They're hard as a rock. They're beautiful, they're glossy. Now, this could happen on a natural edge bowl. Unfortunately, it haven't been very well lately, and I can't really muscle enough wood to do a natural edge bowl. But it would the same principle would apply. You have the revolution, the I want the revolution brush, airbrush, and you have the CA, and you're slowly applying finished coats on the outside. Don't worry about using accelerator to set the coats. They're going to go very uniform. They're going to go without brush stroke. And unless you overstack the CA, they're going to go very smooth. Now, a couple of things. I used EM02 by Starbond because it's the best I've used so far. And I've tried about a half a dozen different glues. The Revolution's pumped at 35 PSI. I'm wearing the proper safety gear. A dust collector, a dust mask, a shield, and latex gloves. And I'm not real particular if it gets on the on the on the jump on the uh, smock, smock. So if you're interested in putting a great finish on a complex piece of work, this might be a way to do it. Give it a try. Send me a picture of your results, and I'll if I can post them, I'll post them or we we'll show them on Ustream. I'm Captain Eddie Castellan. I am going to get back in the shop and start making shavings. I'm told that's going to happen real soon, but we'll get back and start making some shavings. <laughs> you take care, be good, and I'll see you on Ustream. All right. Management is going to be... This is so many points, you have no idea. I mean, she might let me go back to cutting grass. And other things that regular people do. This is really cool. I like the one where I made a mistake and I went right through the middle. You see? When you wear it on your outfit, your outfit will show through. Okay, that's all. I can't do any more of that. And that's just that's pathetic. Bye. I'm taking a closer look at what we just did. Or I just did. Or you, whatever. I'm taking a closer look at it. The woods, the woods come from Ruth Niles at SS Niles Bottle Stoppers. She's a good friend and she's got these squares of laminated wood for doing projects. And they come out really unique looking. I'll put a class back on these and then management we've given them away to her friends at her quilt shows. That is after I take care of the cute girl over there across the street. Yeah. Like, I'm going to really do that. Okay.
A um, couple of things. I cut these on Ladezilla using a fly cutter. If you want to get into building your own Ladezilla, we have the plans, the complete plans, on eddiecastellan.com. www. Eddie, here, this address. And that's also where if you go to the cutters only page, you will probably find cutters to fit your equipment. But hey, do me a favor. So many of y'all don't. So many of y'all don't. Measure your cutters. Don't take a wild ass guess. And that's a technical term. On what size cutter it is. Oh, it sure looks like that big one in the picture. I'm sorry, but I look better in a picture. I really do, especially if it's blurry. But measure your cutters. Go there and get a great deal on carbide cutters. And we're adding to the inventory all the time. In fact, I'm heading to Phoenix in a couple of weeks to see what's new out there in the market. And we'll add replacement cutters for most of those people. But I can't refer to it. If you call me up and say you have one of Mike Hunter's tools and you need to cut it to fit as number four, can't help you. But if you call me and tell me you need a 12 millimeter round cutter, I can help you. You see the difference? I can't sell it as a replacement part for what Mike makes. But I can sell you a part that will replace his part. Yeah, that yeah, I can do that. So check us out. www.eddiecastellan.com. I found this pink at Collierville. You talk about points? Oh made so many points. In fact, I kind of like it. It doesn't match the outfit. All right. Check the website out.